So what are Firefly Magic Firefly Lights? These are a realistic simulation of what we experience in nature in our spring and our summer seasons. That beautiful flashing of neon green across the meadows and in the pastures, maybe even in our gardens. That's what I experienced on the Texas farm where I grew up. And uh, e there were evenings when my brother and I would go and collect these little creatures, bring them in the house in the little jars and set them free in our home just for a spectacular green starlight show in our bedroom. It was really amazing. This product, these lights, I wanted to unbox these today to just give you a little bit of that magic and maybe inspire you to get a set of your own for your garden. And today we're going to be doing an unboxing. Recently I was on a trip to Dollywood in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, and I went to an area called Wildwood Grove so that I could watch the fireworks late at night. And there was something that caught my eye in the bushes. And it reminded me of uh, a product that I had several years ago uh, called the Firefly Magic Firefly Lights. And this is by a company called Spartus Technology. They're out of Denver, Colorado. And uh, I went over to the bushes, checked them out, and sure enough, I could see these were the lights I had in my garden. So today we're going to be unboxing these Firefly Magic Firefly Lights that have just arrived. Wingardium Leviosa. And there we have it. So here we have the uh, product that's come in the mail and uh, we're going to go ahead and begin unboxing the Firefly Magic Firefly Lights. So here we have the module container and it looks like they've also included our one-year limited warranty and stuffing sales receipt invoicing user manual we have a, a really nice uh, container for the module of lights i'm super excited you guys So the packaging is actually quite sturdy. So this is the solar powered assembly and you can see that it's got the solar panel array on the front and on the back we actually, there's various screw holes, there's actually a weep hole to allow humidity and moisture to escape the unit as needed. And then in addition we have the battery door. This is where uh, are housed the two nickel cadmium rechargeable batteries. These are AA batteries that can also be replaced with two other batteries. Uh, these would be your standard alkaline batteries that you can buy at your local store. Energizer, Duracell, they work great. If you're going to be running the unit only on these standard batteries, uh, these will last at a full run, meaning 24-7. These will last about five weeks, four, five, six weeks on average before they burn out. That's how efficient this unit is. And so with these rechargeable batteries, these will last you probably a good year, maybe a little bit less depending on your environment. But you want to keep an eye on this unit when your lights begin to get dim on a regular basis at nighttime and they're not bright neon green. Maybe that's time uh, to go ahead and purchase a new set of rechargeable batteries at your local hardware store. All right. So uh, we also have a, a lighting system here and uh, it's actually covered by a little piece of rubber or silicone and this allows you to turn the unit on off and also what's very special is actually you can set it to auto and auto means that when the sun is out it will actually recharge the unit here for two to three hours when the sun goes down and the moon comes up so it's nighttime the unit will actually begin to power your lights that's the that's the cool feature of the auto function that you'll find on the new modules okay with your solar powered assembly and with all of the electronics that you have here, your lighting system and circuitry, these units are built to withstand extreme temperatures from zero degrees Fahrenheit all the way up to 140 degrees Fahrenheit as well. So that's extremely cold and extremely hot. Now remember, cold temperatures, uh, the icy conditions and snowy conditions, they will affect the plastic by causing it to become brittle over time. So you might want to consider during the winter months of bringing the unit in so that it's protected from the elements. Also, when we look into this unit, we see that we have a mounting stake. This is what you put into the ground or into your planter, wherever you're going to be placing this outside. And then in addition to that, 
see if my little fingers can, can pull this up. There's actually a, a riser pole. This riser pole whoops, will go inside your mounting state very easily, and this elevates the unit, which is going to be, let's see if we've got a, yes, here it is. We've actually got a coupling device, and this coupling device is used to connect to your uh, solar powered assembly. So we just place that on there. You can see that it, it slants at an angle that's appropriate because we're going to be placing the unit on top of the assembly. And there we have it. That's what the unit will look like once it's finished, okay? So let's again just set that aside. Set these pieces. What else do we have in the box? Okay, so these are, this is one set of uh, eight lights. This is our, uh, this is the housing for the microprocessing circuitry, all right? There's an epoxy resin that keeps moisture out and keeps all of the gears and, uh, not gears, but all the electronics protected. And uh, these are your ultraviolet resistant cables that lead to these beautiful neon green LED lights. You see those? And so these lights, I, if, uh, they come in the color of bright blue and also white. So those are other modules you might consider purchasing. These are, uh, the lengths of the cables run between one foot to nine foot. And there are some models that you can purchase where you can link more than one set so up to 10 sets can be linked together, and you can have almost 100 feet of uh, mag uh, Firefly Magic Lights in your garden. If you would like to hang your device, the solar panel array, in your garden, we actually have a device here that you attach to the back of this and also to a structure in your garden, and you can hang this from that structure. As well, in order to attach the lights, into your garden or onto a trellis, a structure, again, we have our quickie ties that are used to attach the lights into your garden. So there you have it, pretty straightforward. And next I'm gonna be taking my unit out into my garden and I'm gonna show you how we attach that into the garden very smoothly and we'll see what it looks like later.